Hello everybody, welcome to Demek Plays Undertale Part 6. Uh, we are in the catacombs of a swamp thing, uh, ruins, whatever, uh, Sands is here, everybody laugh. Also, my mouse needs to be moved out of the way, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about getting into this telescope, uh, business. It's normally 50,000 gold just to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure, I'll use the telescope. Oh god, it's all blood red. It's all red. What joke is this? Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. It's not looking telescope. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. This is real fucking mature, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, manly ban- Oh, I never used my manly bandana. You equip the manly bandana. No, 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 no. Alright, wait. That doesn't make me- Oh, no. So the old tutu is, uh... I can only wear one piece of armor. Well, that makes sense, I guess. For this game, at least. And this one only has, like, seven. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Let's put the manly bandana in there. Anyway, what's up? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Sure, kid. Sure. Okay, this area seems to open up a lot. Wow, this swamp is pretty. Um, let's just keep on looking around. I guess. I, I don't know which direction to commit to just yet. This seems to be a good way. Because there's nothing in here. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> Such respect for the ancient ruins. It's a box for storing... Oh, wait. Punch cards. It's empty right now. Interesting. I re relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Frozen treat that warms your heart. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna buy like three. Okay. Oh, your card's in the box, so I don't get. Do I don't get one for each card, do I? Um, I'll just store all these nice creams. Oops. Should have checked it first. Two bugs in the box for playing a three-card game. Take a card. Yep. All games must end one day. Okay, I'm gonna take all the cards. Hey, kid. Uh, for some nice cream, it's free. Yes. Thank you. And I will go on my way. Sorry, Bugs, for taking your cards. It's impressive that you can play a card game with just two cards, but... None of my business. Oh, hello, Mr. Quacker. Or whatever. That's what I'm gonna call you now. <laughs> I've never met him before, but I already have a name for him, and... I truly think that no one can beat that name. After all, he is a duck, and ducks tend to quack. It's only their nature. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but that's kind of stupid. Sorry about that. Need a little sip of water. Oh, no! Mold small! Yay! The easiest fight. Alright, let's see. What is this? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. I better, um... Hmm. Weapon attack 7. Okay, these used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Um, yeah, let's equip those. I'm not gonna wear use them as a weapon, but... I mean, I might... I need the inventory space at this point. If we're being honest. Okay, so... Yeah, it was just down here. I'm glad I've been exploring a lot. Ring! Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you was very murdery. But I bet you knew that already, and I because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Well, shit. Uh, clean me, Washua. Friends with a little bird. Okay, great. Anyway, good thing that, uh, you know, just don't have to deal with them too much. Just kind of make them clean me and be done. You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, what's this? Power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. 
Well, that kind of got interrupted for a while there. What? 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 Oh no! 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 What does it want from me? Ah! Uh... She's adorable. Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sand. Onion Sand in here. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It was great here. You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh, God. It's so un eerie. <laughs> Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. Beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Do you, do you want to hang out? I can't interact with you. Yeah, the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. Your undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Well, goodbye, Onion Sand. You were one of the strangest things I ever met, but I won't say I didn't love you. Oh, shit. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. I'm going to smile at her. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Toot. Oh. Oh. Shiren hums very faintly. Uh, let's check. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Hum. Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Let's try conducting it. You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Toot. Oh. Sharon pretends to be a pop idol. Uh, hum, maybe? You hum a jazz ballad. Oh. Ooh. Creepy face. Sire, Sharon follows your melody. Sire, sire. Or, see, ray, see, ray, see me, see me. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Kind of beautiful. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Great. 30 gold, wonderful. Northern rooms hide a great, hides a great treasure. There's a piano here, play it? Not just yet. Haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Okay. What? Oh, okay, I'm confused. Uh, echoes down the corridor, only the first eight keys are fine, what? I'm legitimately have no idea what that is. There's a patch of miscolored sand, I don't think that's related, but... Huh. Alright, so that's a neutral position, and the other ones are just the other positions. But there's no music playing when I press the buttons. I don't understand. Kano do they want the Konami code? Right, left, right, up, down. Oh no, that requires A, B, start, so that wouldn't work anyway. I, I don't know, it could have been anything. Wait, is this sign something? To oh, okay, I already checked that. Alright, what's this sign say? Power has no, no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would indeed be to take the soul of a living monster. Huh. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. The boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Okay, cool. Oh, what's this? A statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Hmm. Interesting. Please take one. Okay, sure. You took an umbrella. I mean, if they're just handing them out, I see no reason not to. Oh, I love how the umbrella actually does block the water. Oh, this is rather idyllic, really. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Cool. I'll be your umbrella buddy, I guess. Oop, there we go. I'll just keep on walking down this hallway while no one says anything and kind of just awkwardly exists. Man, Undyne is so cool. She be a bad guy and never loses. 
She even doesn't afraid of anything. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> well, I am a human, so. And I'll have you know, I don't wet the bed every night. Just some nights. Oh, so one time, yeah, school project where we had to take care of flour. The king, oh shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, the king showed up to the class about recent responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool it would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> oh, you're thinking like a real child. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool, too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Yeah, she does seem cool to non-monsters. But two monsters, not quite so cool. Oh, okay, I see how Okay. Cool. This is really fucking badass. Imagery in this game is great. What's up? Do you want do you want to say something? Okay, well, I'll just keep on moving. Is that the capital? I'm going to assume it's the capital because you haven't told me. Alright, uh, return the umbrella? Yeah, you return the umbrella. Okay. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb under my shoulders. Um, okay. Thank you, I'll never forget your sacrifice. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll always find a way to get through. Oh. Your sacrifice will be remembered in the Book of Ancient Riddles. Humans, afraid of our power, declare, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. To the end, it could hardly be called a war. And you know, the humans were too powerful and monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters returned to dust. Oh. Sound of muffled rain on the, uh, the cavern top fills you with determination. We haven't actually been into the marsh itself, really. Unless... I guess the whole thing is kind of a cavern, so... Wait a second! Oh, excuse me, I have to seize. <coughs> I'm sorry about that, but I was gonna say, what I meant to say... Was... This must be a really, really big cavern to support. Also, there are blobs showing. Oh, fuck. Um, weather system in the cavern. It's really hard to believe it. Oh, shit. I won't let that happen again. Ah, there we go. Oh, there. This is really cool how they made it action-y and stuff. And not just, oh, I was hoping to get through there in time. Oh, well. Oh, no. They, oh. This gameplay is me. Oh, I failed. Uh, oh, there's so many ways to go. Oop. Okay, well, this was not... Oh, no, damn it. Getting hit up so much. Uh, I can't use my healing items. Shit, 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 shit. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, crap. Oh, whew, that was close. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Whew. Okay. Uh, no, I th of course there's nothing back there. Why would there be a... Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, shit. If I get hit, like, one more time, I'm dead. No, why did I do that? I was... Uh... Oh, my God, I've dodged so many of these things. It's actually very impressive, in my opinion. Okay, I just gotta... Just gotta take it slow, even though it's an action segment. Just gotta... Oh, no! I didn't take it slow! <laughs> no, I'm still not safe. Oh, God. Oh, uh, any configuration is possible. Oh, and they're, they're happening so fast now. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they're still going on. Oh, God. I can't handle this, man. I can't handle this. Oh, fuck. Now, there wasn't anything over there, right? That was just the edge of the abyss, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, there's nothing over there. Well, I guess I've got to find another way. Well, it seems we meet for the first time for the last time, Undyne. Are you ready to get the shit loved out of you? Oh. Those were not blue spears. Or wait, were, were, is this her trying to, like, kill me and leave me for dead? Because I thought she wanted to capture me. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Svert, huh? That's a nice name. Oh, it's Flowey. I swear.
swear it's gotta be flowy because the flowers. Huh, okay. I guess you did try to kill me or something. There are piles of garbage. Quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Great. Oop. The waterfall here seems to fall from uh, flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing the endless cyclist of wor cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination for some reason. Don't ask me why, but it does make you feel good. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> so that's the sound of a <laughs> honk of despair. A oh, slide whistle. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Oh man, I was hoping to salvage graphics card. It's no, it's a cooler. No brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Sure. Sweet astronaut food. Why do I have a stick? Oh, is this from the? Oh, it's from the bit bicycle. Stick was unit thrown away. Okay, great. It's a DVD case for anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Garbage. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. I was I thought it was gonna be another training dummy style fight or something, like from the beginning. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. Fool, you think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul right out of your body. Mad dummy blocks the way. Talk to the dummy, it doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh my god. I was never expecting that just having a nice conversation could lead to this. Ow, ow, you dummies! Oh, so that's how I fight him. I basically get him to hit himself. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. That dummy is looking nervous. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. I'll defeat you and avenge my brother or some shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Ha ha! Ow. Smells like a clothing store. Shoot. Talk to the dummy. Use your soul to cross the barrier. Well, I can understand why you might want to do that. Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. <laughs> I'll stand in the window of a fancy star. But you're a ghost. Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you. Yeah. Alright, alright. Think every... I should really stop skipping through the text quite so much. There we go. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Talk to the dummy. No one is happy. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Um, you know, I'm gonna use my unicycle. Yay. What was their name again? Oh, shit. Oh, man, it's way harder to fight now. That dummy is getting caught in. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow, oh, fuck. Ha ha ha! That was a pretty good hit. Mad Dummy is getting caught in. Yeah. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Uh, how is that a fair attack? I'm just glad I have so many healing items. Holy crap! Um, I think I can go for one more. Feeble, feeble, feeble! Mo. Oh. Ha ha! That dummy is getting cotton all over the- yeah. Once again, love the music. Pitiful, 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 yeah, yeah, we know. Ow. Hey, guys! Oh, dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical Orioles fill the room. I'm going to eat a bicycle. Here, the, yeah. Dummy bots, magic missile! I attack the darkness. 
Oh, ha, I got, got him with one edge of that. All right, so I think I figured it out. They can only home on you for a little while. Oh, God. There we go, all of them. I wonder what the smell thing is like all the time. Dummy bots, you're awful. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh. God damn it. I'm gonna eat my other half of my bicycle. Dummy bots, final attack! What if this isn't. Oh shit, the final attack. Oh, I just need to hit him with one, don't I? Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh crap. Oh, that didn't go the way I planned it to. And no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! Oh shit. I'm out of knives. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever! Forever! <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Naps to Blook? Yay! Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no! Napster look, no! Well, I'm gonna head home now. Well, I'm free home to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Aw, oh, Napster look. Aww. Hey, my house is up here in case you want to see. Or in case. You don't. <laughs> uh, tranquility. Um, that heals me, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of stuff, but I think I might as well check out the house first. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. What's up, buddy? Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it? Yeah, sure. CDs labeled Spookwave, sure it. Sounds good, we'll come back to that one actually. Spook House? Ah, that's the original. Dang, that ambience is like my whole body's being spooked. It's pretty spooky, yeah. Mirror's internet browser is opening to music sharing for him. That's my TV, there's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Is it, um, is it the same show that Papyrus likes where the broadcasting's been interrupted? Because I think you guys might get along. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh well. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want... To join me? Shh, I'll give it a shot. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I think that's long enough. Thank you, Napsablook. Well, that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> Just feeling like garbage. It's locked. Okay. Man, the music's too spooky. I gotta, I gotta stop the spook. Restore the music to the original. I'll just, uh, yeah. All right, let's explore the other portions of this strange and mysterious and wonderful world. Hey, it's Mr. Cracker. The little bird wants to carry you across. Well, if he wants to, sure. I feel like this is parodying something, but I'm not sure what. In any case, it's pretty ridiculous imagery on its own. Huh. 
Well, let's go the other way. <laughs> and so they went on their journey. They would have to cross a single moat, not very wide, filled with kind of cool looking water, actually. Really, it wasn't that much of a journey, but considering Mr. Quacker's size, it's really quite an achievement lifting that. Uh, we'll say 80 pound boy? That might be a little heavy. Well, thank you, Mr. Quackers. Goodbye. Let's check out the rest of this shit. Oh, this looks pleasant. What, what, what? It's a living. Wait. Oh, oh, it's a living. Okay. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Hmm. Okay, then. What's this say? North, Block Acres. East, Hotland. Timmy Village is some direction. Okay. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth snail. Sam Buell. I've been long under overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. Did I? Naps, dub look. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Oh, was the customer uh, Toriel? Because that makes sense to me. Also, who is the hairy guy? I, have we met him before, or are we going to meet him? If we don't meet him, I'm going to be very... Oh, can I do snail racing? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's ten gold to play. Sure. Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Alright, I'm ready to encourage. Mmm, I'm so encouraging. What is he doing? Oh, he can't handle the pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it looks like you encourage your snail too much. All oh, the pressure just he really got to her. Oh, let's try that again. Do you want to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna press anything this time. I I can't blame that snail. I the pressure would probably get to me. And then my recording crapped out. I don't know why this happened or exactly when, but. I got pretty far, about 20 minutes farther uh, after this point, when I decided to end the episode. Uh, let's see, how, where did I go? What did I do exactly? I fought a bunch of monsters, did some puzzles, went through the Timmy village, or got to the Timmy village, then into the episode. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. And you guys aren't going to experience the, wonderful, the wonders that are the Timmy village, because the next episode starts after I've already explored it, so yeah. Sorry about that, guys, but I it's just technical difficulties. I can't really do much about it right now. Um, yeah. Bye.